What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to save your SHSH2 blobs so that you can possibly downgrade to an unsigned firmware in the future. Now if you don't know what a blob is, it's basically a part of Apple's digital signature that gets passed through their servers every single time you wanna downgrade or update your device through iTunes. So basically by downloading the signature or the blobs and with some help from the Prometheus app, you will be able to execute what's called a replay attack to get the iOS version you have blobs saved for. Now, if you wanna know the full definition, more technical terms like that, you can go and click the link down below or just do a simple Google search for SHSH blobs. Now, if you wanna save blobs for a firmware, you need to make sure that the firmware is currently being signed. And you can check that by going to IPSW.me or the iPhone Wiki or a certain site like that. I also upload videos all the time talking about when a current period of iOS stops getting signed. Also, another thing that a lot of people get confused by is that you don't have to be on the same firmware you're saving SHSH blobs for. So for example, I saved my blobs for 10.2 on my iPhone 7, which is currently running iOS 10.2.1 beta 3. And I also saved my 10.2 blobs on my iPhone 7 plus, which is running on iOS 10.1.1 at the moment. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be showing you three different methods for saving your SHSH2 blobs and all three of them work for both Windows and Mac. All right, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. The first thing you're going to do is go to the first link in the description right here and it will take you to Tim Starr's GitHub page and you're going to download the latest version of TSS Checker by simply scrolling down and finding this zip file right here and going ahead and clicking on that and downloading it. Once you've downloaded the TSS Checker, go ahead and extract it. I extracted mine to my desktop. You can extract it wherever. I'd recommend the desktop just for easy access. Once you open it, you should see all of these files. Now the three you need to pay attention to are the Linux, the Mac OS, and the Windows files right here. I'm on Mac OS, so I'm gonna drag that Mac OS file out to my desktop. And obviously if you're on Windows, you drag the Windows out. If you're on Linux, you drag the Linux out. All right, so now we can go ahead and X out of this. We can move this over to the side as well. This is all we're gonna need right now. So we're gonna open up the terminal. And if you're on Windows, you can open up the uh, command prompt. Once you're here, I want you to type in sudo space chmod space 755 space, and then you're gonna drag this file into the interface of terminal. Then hit enter, enter in your password, enter, and now you are good to go. And we do that first just to make sure you don't get permission denied. All right, so now I want you to copy this directory right here and go ahead and paste that. Then we're gonna space dash D space. Then we're gonna go into iTunes and find our device ident model identifier, which is right here. You can see mine is iPhone 9 comma one. So iPhone, oops, no space, nine comma one space dash E space. And then we're gonna go ahead and click again until we get to our ECID number right there. Copy, paste, space again, dash I space. Then we're gonna enter in the firmware we wanna save blobs for. In this case, it's 10.2. Then we're gonna hit space again, and we're gonna do dash dash build ID space. And then we enter in the build number for that firmware that we just entered with dash I. So 10.2, the build ID for the public version of 10.2 is 14C92. Then space one last time, dash S to save this file. Then hit enter. And you should see it say right here, saved SHSH blobs. Now, if you get this error that you see right here, it says something about baseband gold cert ID don't worry about that, you could just ignore that. Your SHSH blobs are still saved. And you can see my SHSH2 blobs saved right here with the extension SHSH2. But what I want you to do is create a new folder on the desktop called blobs. Then I want you to drag that blob, the SHSH2 file into that folder. So there we go, we can open up this folder and see we have it saved in there now. And what we're gonna do is go back into our terminal and we're gonna copy in exactly what we just put right here to get this. So that entire string we wrote with the build ID and all that, copy that. And we're gonna go ahead and paste it again. And it should save it again right here in the original uh, directory. So we still have one in the blobs right here. Then we have another one right here. So we're gonna drag this, drag this into the blobs folder. Go ahead and tap on uh, or click on keep both. And we're gonna do this like five times. So you can just keep doing this but you need to make sure to move this to the blobs folder so that it doesn't keep overriding itself and only keeping one file. And we're saving about five versions of our SHSH2 blobs because every single copy contains a different AP nonce. So every single file is essentially different. And one, if one version doesn't work with Prometheus, which I will show again in a future tutorial when the downgrade time comes, you will have others to choose from. So basically, this is just to make sure you can downgrade in the future and not just have to rely on just one file. So here we go, this is the fourth one. Keep both, paste again. It'll show up right here. Go ahead, keep both one last time. And as you can see now, we have five different SHSH2 files 
all of them are different. And of course, when the time comes, you will remove copy and copy two, copy three, copy four, all that. That's just to make sure that they uh, don't override each other inside this blobs folder that we just created. All right, so now let's move on to the second method, which is a lot easier. So we don't need terminal, we don't need any of that. All we need is the Telegram application. And this works for both the desktop client and the iPhone application. All right, so all you need to do is click the link down below for the Telegram application. Make sure you have it installed. And once you get here, you should do start like this. And if it says invalid device, I'm not sure why it says that. All you're gonna do is slash SHSH. And then we can see right here, we have our devices right here that we can choose from. So I'm gonna be doing this for an iPhone 7 global. Go ahead and tap on that. And then it shows only signed iOS versions are listed. So it shows right here, iOS 10.2, 14C92. Click on that. Then you're gonna enter in your ECID, which we just did from iTunes. So here it is right here, copy, paste. And you can see these errors, don't worry about those. Those are the same thing as the baseband gold in the uh, terminal, so don't worry about that. If you click on verify, this is all you need to know to make sure. So you see all these green check marks, that's what you wanna see. And all you do from here is click on this right here. This is your download link. Click on that and it will save, as you can see right here, your SHSH2 file. And since this popped up, I do wanna show you guys that each SHSH file is different, even if they're the copies like we showed with the terminal application. I go to the site called diffchecker.com and you can see the parts of the code of the signature, I should say, that are altered. Now, if you're using the Telegram application on your iPhone, all you're gonna do is save the file that it downloads to iCloud Drive or Dropbox or some other cloud service. All right, and the final, the third method is by going to tsssaver.oneconan.com and it will bring you to this online blob saver uh, application right here. So all you're gonna do is enter in your ECID, which is already copied, select your phone, which I am the iPhone 7 Global, I'm not a robot, and then click submit, and your SHSH blobs are right here. So go ahead and click on this, and then you can click on download zip, and there you go, you have your SHSH2 blobs saved just like that. So now you may be wondering why I showed you the hardest way first when you can do it so easily. And the reason being is because that first method comes straight from Tim Starr himself, who is the developer of Prometheus. So those are the most likely and the most the preferred way really to save your SHSH2 blobs. And once again, with both the Telegram method and this method right here, you should save multiple files of these blobs. You should just save it multiple times and then just save it inside of a blobs folder on your desktop. And once you have all these files saved inside of a folder, you know, on your desktop like I do right here for blobs, just keep this file safe and you know, you're not gonna need it right now, but when the time comes, you will definitely need it. So just keep it there. Don't delete it, you know, do whatever you want with it, but just keep it in a safe place so that it doesn't get deleted. All right, so there you have it, guys. Those are three methods for saving your SHSH2 blobs with a computer or with an iPhone application with the Telegram application. Very easy to do and definitely very useful for future downgrades. And as I stated earlier, I will be having a tutorial on how to downgrade to 10.2 once that signing period closes using Prometheus and these SHSH2 blobs. So make sure you save these no matter what. Even if you're on 10.2 now, save them no matter what. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, which I'm sure a lot of you will, be sure to leave those down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.